If our sad eyes could rain for every drop a shower, our needless quill might then refrain this heavy task. But since our tears are pent within our straightened eyes, our pen must give them vent. Blunt quill, and dost thou think to glorify thy skill in sooty characters of ink? Or that thy easy language can proclaim an accent half so shrill as the loud trump of fame? But tell, O oh, tell me why should our sad lines compel a tear or force a trickling eye? We beg it not. What gentle eye embalms the precious dust of saints? brings offerings and not alms. You whom victorious passion hath foiled and overcome with sighs and tears, not wept for fashion, come, bear a part. These obsequies do sue to entertain such guests, such guests alone as you. Rash fates, were you advised at how extreme great rates true honour and perfections prized when you, in twice two days, surprised more than ages can prescribe, than ages can restore? Repose, O oh gentle earth, this sacred dust kept close as relics of our buried mirth. Let time preserve your holy turfs unstirred. This age will scarce unlock your gates for such a third. In this cold bed of clay, unstained perfection is laid down to sleep till break a day, which, when the early morning trump shall sound, with joy, with robes, with crowns shall wake, be clothed, be crowned. Sad tomb, hadst thou the might to understand for whom thy marble curtains make this night, thou wouldst vie with Mahomets, if such there be. Two stones support but his, two saints are props to thee. We should Invoke to aid and challenge, if we would, assistance from the heavenly maid, but we forbear. The spirit of grief infuses more salt into our quill than all the sacred muses. Provoke loud storms to blow, or smothering flax to smoke, full seas to swell, spring tides to flow, for us, we need no aid, nor will suborn the help of foreign art. True grief knows how to mourn. Hard stones, if hearts should not, would cleave and split with groans, ere so much worth should lie forgot. At such a loss, should stones forbear to break their flinty silence, stones the very stones would speak. To speak bare truth would try a faith that were not weak. T'would seem a rank hyperbole to make but half their excellence appear for whom we mourn, for whom we justify this tear. If not the height of blood, Virtue without a spot, and all those gifts that earth calls good, may lend some privilege to life, nor add some sand to nature's glass, what matter, good or bad? Persuade, persuade not me, false earth, to trust thy aid, or build my hopes on it or thee. Give all thou hast, alas, thou canst not make estates for more than life. Thou dost but give and take. Stone hearts, let me bespeak you all to play your parts. If you be too, too hard to break, too stout for drops to pierce, yet come, you'll serve for stuff to build their honourable tomb. 
to break the peace of saints in taking leave to speak our real griefs in vain complaints is but a trick of earth. Why should we thus afflict our souls for them that find no grief but us? Attend, you gentle ears, a while, and we will end our sighs and wipe away your tears. We'll change our scene and we'll unsad our style. We'll teach your sighs to sing. We'll teach your tears to smile. Report, you blessed peers of the eternal court, your hallelujahs mixed with theirs. Welcome these saints to that celestial choir where griefs do not explore, where joys do not expire. And you, O oh blessed pair, that now have interview with thrones and seraphims, that share with powers and angels, O oh, what oratory can colour out your joys, what pen can chant your glory? Shall then the puddle tears of earth-begotten men wash your white names or cloy your ears? No, no, tis pity tears should intercept the peace of your sweet rest where tears are never wept. Shed tears? Had they been tied to serve their weary years at earth's hard trade and then denied a common rest, this had been apt to breed a thousand thousand tears. This had been grief indeed. Enough. Let this suffice to show how poor a puff is earth and all that earth can prize. Wealth, honour, beauty in whose flames we burn. Give warning in the bed and leave us at the urn. Without the least surmise of unbelief or doubt, our mountain faith doth canonize these saints, whose dying ashes did confer to their Redeemer's birth gifts passing gold and myrrh. My pen thou hast transgressed. Archangels and not men should sing the story of their rest. But we have done. We leave them to the trust of heaven's eternal tower and kiss their sacred dust. <laughs>